Hello, welcome back to JK Chemistry. Today we are going to discuss about the most important that is Maxwell's thermodynamic relations. So it is very difficult to memorize. So if you are using some trick and tips, we can we can uh, derive at the instant, at the moment. Okay, it's very simple. Okay, so listen here. Okay, so here we are discussing a magic box. Okay, so first. First, we are creating this here we know that it is a entropy this is pressure this is temperature it is volume okay u is internal energy h is a enthalpy g is a gibbs free energy a is helmholtz free energy okay right okay now here first we are making a small box okay these are the uh, state variables okay so yes P V T. Okay, so it is uh, the shortcut is Satya Pragash is very talented. Satya Pragash is very talented. It should be in Z manner. Satya Pragash very talented. Okay, his grade always upper. His grade always upper. Okay, this is in clockwise. We should start from here. Okay, his grade always upper. Okay, this is the magic box. This is our box, and another thing. The arrow it is downward this is also downward okay so how can we derive the thermodynamic functions from this box let's see okay let's see first we are starting okay u that is we know that du dh da dg these are the our thermodynamic function so this comes from du dh dg da so how the equations of du comes okay let's check now before that we can have two kind of variable the variables that is state variables that is near to the thermodynamic function treated as differential variables okay differential variables and away from that treated as constant functions constant functions i repeat if you are deriving one of the thermodynamic functions so we know so let's say du so we know that s and v are uh, functions near to this thermodynamic function treated as derivative that is ds dv and the functions away from this that is p and t treated as constant function so moreover we know that two arrows this arrow is moving towards constant function treated as positive away from constant function treated as negative let's check okay du du is equal to is equal to T D S T D S. We know that S is derivative function, T is constant function. So T D S, and we know that arrow is towards this constant function treated as positive, and then minus P D V. Why it is minus P D V? It is D V, but our constant function. P, but arrow is away from constant function so see that's why it is minus pdv clear what about dh dh is equal to we know that s and p are s and p are derivative function v and t are constant functions okay so dh is equal to t ds so positive t ds then v dp arrow towards constant function so it is positive vdp okay what about da da is equal to these are derivative function these are constant function now minus t sorry minus sdt minus sdt why because it is away from constant function minus sdt then minus PDV that is it is away from constant function minus PDV okay what about DG DG is equal to DG is equal to minus SDT minus SDT then plus VDP plus VDP okay plus DVP so it is very simple so you you can memorize this way uh, another way also you can memorize so let's write it in this sequence Okay, that is U H A. We can call it as U H A. U H A. Okay. Now we have to memorize one of the equation. That is T D S minus P D V. Repeat T D S. Change the sign 
and change the parameter here it is minus pdp it should be vdp okay vdp then change uh, change the sign and change the parameter it is tds now we changed the sign minus sdt then repeat okay minus pdv okay Re minus sdt okay plus vdp okay this sequence you can repeat okay ready now we move on to our maxwell's relation very important okay okay maxwell's relation first maxwell relation so first of all we have to write this our box okay we are writing only spvt that is satya prakash very talented that's only okay now we want to generate our first maxwell relation we start a red line from t k box like this okay ready and we should draw another line that is just covering this arrow that is psv okay psv okay now how the relation comes we start from here dot t by dot v at constant s dot t by dot v at constant s since the arrow is upward it is positive now dot p by dot s at constant v okay since the arrow downward it is treated as negative okay negative okay now when we when we are moving next to thermodynamic maxwell's relation we are drawing the spvt again okay now in earlier case we started we started from t upward okay now in this situation t v s okay like this okay now we started again from t but in another direction that is t p s direction t p s direction and another arrow should be that should covering this arrow this arrow like this that is arrow of red should be the bend of the black here also arrow of the red should be the bend of black okay like this okay now how it is we start from t so do t by do p at constant s okay po, uh, upward so positive then do k okay. then do v by do s at constant p okay again uh, uh, upward so positive okay ready now next one okay again we we have drawn sp vt satya prakash very talented okay now we are uh, started starting from s okay svt svt and the black arrow should covering the arrow like this p like this this okay now how it is we started from s do s by do v at constant t since it is downward minus okay is equal to do p by do t at constant v okay so since it is downward it is again minus so both minus cancelled you can have this okay the next maxwell relation we started s now here also we started but from s but in different direction that is this okay s p t this direction and another arrow should be covering red like this okay so how do s by do p at constant t since it is downward minus okay is equal to do v by do t at constant p it is opposite uh, upward it is treated as positive okay clear so it is very simple so if you are given one of the one of the thermo uh, maxwell relations okay so you can easily find the next one so suppose if you are if we are asked uh, do t by do v at constant s is equal to what is okay you can we, we can check by drawing this so suppose you are given do t by do v at constant s so you can easily generate do p by do s at constant v okay so in every situation you can see we are we are drawing spvt box okay now we are generating another box leaving one of the side vacant leaving one of the side vacant initially we started from t t okay and next one also started from t but it is in opposite direction okay so that is red line okay the next couple uh, next line should be should be in such a manner its corners its corner should possess 
at the arrow of red one okay that way you have to draw okay that way you have to draw every situation you can see that trend okay second situation we started from s okay uh, fourth situation we started from s but in opposite direction okay clear it is very simple okay so this is the popular uh, this is these are the popular maxwell relation now we move on to next type of uh, maxwell relation it is not uh, much familiar but the exam point of view is very important okay for this purpose uh, we are generating our magic box having internally spvt outside thermodynamic function hga satya pragash very talented his grade always up okay now for producing this uh, relation uh, we have uh, thermodynamic function u okay it's a related variable or functions are s v h which is related to s p g related to p t a related to v t okay now in order to produce uh, this relation we have to consider four corners that is s corner p corner t corner v corner s corner is related to h and u p corner related to h and g t related to g and a v related to u and a now we are going to produce this thermodynamic relation uh, you just see the sequence then you can easily produce okay that is do u by do u by do s at constant v okay that is related to s corner is equal to is equal to do h by do s at constant p okay so it's uh, just like this do u by do s at constant v then do u do do, uh, do h by do s at constant p okay that is corner is related to h and u and each thermodynamic function is related to its own variables okay same way you can generate with respect to v corner that is do u by do v at constant s is equal to do a by do v at constant t okay ready clear next we can go with the p corner that is that is do h by do p at constant s is equal to do g by do p at constant t okay clear next we can go with the t corner that is do a by do t at constant v is equal to do g by do g by do t at constant p p okay clear so in each case we are considering uh, uh, one of the corner then it's uh, related to thermodynamic function okay clear it's very simple okay so subscribe like and share thank you take care